Hey. What do you say? You guys say you guys want to have a, a Friendsgiving show? You guys down for that? Awesome. Yeah, let's have a nice Friendsgiving show. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Uh, here we go. Let's do. Here's a fun thing. I had a uh, one night stand with a 60 year old lady. That's fun, right? Yeah. Very exciting for me. First and foremost, don't have a lot of one night stands. Doesn't usually go well for me. For example, I once uh, went home with a woman. And she said to me, look, John, I'm not going to sleep with you. I'm not comfortable being the kind of girl who sleeps with two guys on back-to-back -back nights. And I was like, yeah, you can just, you can just say no. <laughs> well, tell me that weird thing. She's like, I'm sorry. It's just that I have this date tomorrow night, and he seems really great. <laughs> so that didn't work out. So yeah, not a one-night stand guy. Also, don't go for older women. Not women, nothing against them. It's just that... Uh, it's just that I'm adopted, and uh, my mom is out there somewhere, you know? <laughs> it's a gamble. I don't need to be playing this game of incest roulette. No, thank you. <laughs> my friends, they like, this, uh, they like this cougar bar, as they call it, the cougar bar. Always trying to get me to go. Like, come on, man, let's go meet some cougars. Let's go meet some MILFs. I was like, look, guys, there's only one MILF for me, okay? And that is the mom I'd like to find. <laughs> it's my kind of MILF. So I, got, so I got dragged to the cougar bar. <laughs> this lady immediately strikes up a conversation with me by saying, oh my God, you look just like a friend I had years ago. She's like, can I buy you a drink? I was like, well, this is very uncomfortable, but uh, free drink. You know, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> and, then I, uh, and then I had sex with that lady. <laughs> I had sex with her. I guess technically, if she is my mom, it's not a one-night stand. <laughs> you know? Because I've, I've been inside her before. I was, no. <clears throat> no. I don't, I don't think she's my mom. <laughs> what, what are the odds, right? What are the odds that she's my mom? When I woke up the next morning, she was gone. What are the odds the same lady abandoned me twice? That seems unlikely. Fun. Uh, I am really adopted. Give it up for that, right, guys? Give it up for, yeah. Give it up for me being given up. We're having fun. It's fun. Uh, growing up, my mom, this is my rebound mom now, uh, but my mom was always very open with me that I was adopted. I remember her telling me when I was a kid, she's like, Johnny, the moment I saw you, it was love at first sight, like I knew you'd be my son. And that's a, that's a really special thing for your mom to say. And I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, did you feel the same way? And he's like, ooh. <sighs> he's like, you were the only white baby they had. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Look, he picked me, I didn't pick him, all right? That's, that's not on me. That's fun. I'm a single guy. Single guy in my 30s. A scary age to be single in your 30s. Because you're basically at that point in your life where I'm either going to die single or just become someone's stepdad. I don't like those odds. It doesn't feel good. But I'm dating. It's going OK. I'm getting good at picking up on red flags. Like, I went on a handful of dates with this woman, and she told me that she thinks that watching porn is cheating. Uh, don't agree with that. I was like, man, if this lady feels this strongly about porn, she is going to hate when I fuck other people. <laughs> It's not going to be a good sport at all. But I think I'm single because for a lot of reasons. <laughs> but uh, one of them is I'm not romantic. I'm not a romantic guy. I thought about it. The most romantic thing I've done was I bought uh, a second pillow for my bed. That was it. Because <laughs> women think it's weird if you only have one pillow. Yeah. Like pillow talk in my bedroom is just who gets this pillow. That's how it goes. <laughs> Ladies would be like, what kind of guy only has one pillow? I was like, I don't know, what kind of girl uh, can't take a hint? Please leave. <laughs> it's time to go. I'm out of here. I hooked up with a woman, and she said, I have five pillows. Everyone should have five pillows. I was like, get the fuck out of here. 
I was like, that's outrageous. I'm not going to get five pillows. That's insane. Because it's not going to be enough. You know, I'm going to get three more pillows. She's going to come back. She's like, we should get you a box spring. <laughs> it's like, it's never enough. I'm never. You can cut that joke. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I recently went on a handful of dates with this woman. Didn't really make a connection. Wasn't really feeling it. And she texted me. She's like, hey, when are we hanging out again? And uh, I wasn't feeling it, so I was like, uh, probably not ever. You know, <laughs> something along those lines. And uh, she's pretty mad. She's pretty offended. She sent me a series of very angry text messages. Uh, the first one, she said, you idiot. I would have fucked you on the next date. And that's fine. <laughs> it's Okay. It's like, oh, no, I don't get to have sex with this person I didn't like. It's too bad. The second text she sent me, she said, have fun masturbating. I was like, yeah, that's going to be great. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'd rather masturbate than go on a date anytime. I don't have to spend any money. I don't have to leave the house. I get to pick the movie every time. It's so much better. <laughs> and then the last text she sent me, she said, have fun writing a joke about me. And it did. I love this joke. It's a great joke. It's very good. What do you guys say? You guys ready for a comedy show? Yeah.